Hi, my name is Joanna Henley and I am a multidisciplinary artist and founder of Misled Studio. I am sharing with you my third and final video that has documented my process of creating a small mural at home because we've all been at home a lot this past 18 months. And my aim is to inspire you to move into mural painting or even if you have the space to create something at home. So today I'm going to talk about the final finish, the decision making, the materials I use and my process. You can find the first two videos on Cass IGTV Live. Let's get cracking. So the first lines are always the most intimidating. I'm using a flat square head brush for this and paint straight out of the tub. This one's quite thin, so I had to do a few finishes. And then with other paints, they're gonna be a lot cleaner. This one I mixed with medium, so it flows really lovely and I'm using a long, thin, natural bristle for this. With the orange, that was a completely different situation. It went up perfectly smooth, one finish, and it was done. I'm using a Chinese brush, a long haired brush, and these lines were really important to get really clean. I'm on a flat head here. I move around trying to just paint as much as I can going from top to bottom, so I'm not getting stuck in any way and making a mess and I will keep moving around the space. The colour swatch for this to mix up all these gorgeous blues that would complement orange. I used to really over complicate this part. Keep the gap so you don't have to project again. Put your lines in afterwards, keep them loose, keep it moving free and then your original colour which is the grey blue here can finish those blue lines off afterwards. Use tape where you're moving into the area so that you have a clean finish, don't move into the mask so you're going away from that. This green tape is amazing. It Here I'm using a lot of acrylic medium with a soft colour to get the base for my bust. This is then using dark lines that I can see underneath and then I put another layer on top so that I'm working with these kind of uh, density across this. So obviously fast track to this part where you can see how I've built those layers up. So this is quite a three dimensional part of the piece, which is framed by this arch coming together by the pieces you've seen before. And here we are, the finished piece complete. I hope you like it.